Art does not persuade you, it transforms you. Some art transforms the people who witness it, but in a way that you can't even describe. The main problem with everyone is preconceptions and thinking you know everything. And then you discover, particularly at my point in life, you know nothing. Belief is basically an end to observation and to understanding. The things that become iconic come about because of the intuition. In the realm of art, you are dealing with material that is not subject to analysis. You can talk about it, but the talk is meaningless. Your perception about what reality is changes. You can tell there is no reality because the face, for instance, can be drawn in a thousand different ways, all of which are equally real. What we are doing in the act of drawing is becoming attentive. And attentiveness is the great benefit of drawing. You can also be attentive about your life and raise to awareness what it is you're doing. This is not only a designer's question. This is a question for every human being. If you pay attention for the first time without preconceptions. Oh, if that were easy to do, what a wonderful life this would be, but it's not. It's exceedingly difficult to accept what is in the Buddhist sense. But when you draw, you try to accept what is, and you look at an ear for the first time and see the strange convoluted surface and the deep shadows that it makes and how it attaches to the head. Normally, you wouldn't see that ear at all. It would just be part of the visual material that goes unnoticed in your daily life. Looking is not seeing. You can look at something without seeing it. Everybody's creative. Every human is creative because that's the nature of the species. The term is, <laughs> it's now used as a noun. It's a way of congratulating yourself for your genius. Narcissism is not missing in our society. But the most important thing is linking things that have not been linked before and to see the essential connectedness of everything. Can of beans to a Cadillac. Everything is connected. There's no unconnected events in human experience. But discovering what those connections are, that's what we call creative. It is finding things that, you, that exist that you didn't know about. All of us in communication that wants to have success and they want to see their work admired and replicated and so on, you sort of grow up thinking that's the payoff. But you never know what's going to stick. Even though you have a lot of information, you don't know what icons will emerge from the work you do. I find the most important question to ask people in marketing and advertising is, am I doing harm? And that affects the community you address, not the client and not the genius art director or copywriter. It is the public and you are responsible for the effect you have on the public. Collaboration is a natural characteristic of the species and they Mythology of art is that people have a unique talent and they have to dig in and discover their personal egocentric talent and then reveal that to the world and be celebrated and applauded for doing that. And the reality is that most works are collaborative on one level or another and you work with others and the richest and best works come out of collaboration. But there's nothing for me, more pleasurable than working in a group and being part of a collective effort. To see you're working towards something you all believe 
is worthy and that your role fulfilled in community work. Greatest thing I can think of for the species is for people to learn and to pass on what they've learned. If you were to say finally, well, what was your purpose? Which I suppose that everybody at the end of their life asks themselves. I would say to have learned and passed it on.